What if I told you that video editing just got a lot easier? If you can edit text, read text, copy paste text, you can pretty much edit video and you don't need to be a video editor or know all the shortcuts or how Premiere Pro works. This new update is called text-based editing. So it'll pretty much transcribe all your text and you edit the text and that will automatically edit the video. Doesn't sound that exciting, but for you video editors out there, you might get some of your life back and see the sunlight. For me, I know that the one thing I very much dislike when it comes to editing is editing, 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 a roll, editing, a roll, man. I very much dislike that. And it takes so much time. It's hours and hours with the footage I have to go through that if I could avoid that, it would make my process so much easier. And then maybe I can get a bit more creative with other aspects of the content, like graphics and subtitles and all that kind of stuff. In the past on the channel, we've mentioned other programs that do exactly the same thing. But the fact that now it's in Premiere Pro and you can pretty much do everything under one roof, it just means that you can tighten up your workflow. Say, for example, you are editing the last dance and you've got loads and loads of footage of interviews and all that kind of stuff and you just want to pull out sections where everybody's talking about the rivalry between Jordan and Isaiah Thomas. All you have to do is go in, search for Isaiah Thomas and Jordan, pull out those sections, copy paste them into a new sequence, then you can just focus on the storyline and just make that the best it can be. Another use case might be making social media content out of podcasts and long form interviews where you could just literally edit the text get whatever you need, and then maybe tighten it up in the edit, add some graphics and text, and most of the job is done then. I'm excited about this new update, and I'll get some of my life back, if I'm honest. I've had videos before where they've been an hour and six minutes raw, but then after the edit, they come to about 12 minutes, because your boy makes a lot of mistakes, man. So let's go in, and I'll show you how it works. So let's go ahead, open Premiere Pro Beta. If you don't know where to find Premiere Pro Beta, just go into your Creative Cloud, go into where the beta apps are, and download it there. I'm pretty sure it'll be an official release soon. So what I'm gonna do is new document, create a new project. Let's drag our footage in and drag my audio. Make some bins, keep stuff nice and organized and gonna drag my intro in and then drag my audio in. That was recording on a separate microphone. Make sure we synchronize those bad boys. All right, so now we are synced up. Now I'm gonna go into text-based editing. So it's already transcribed everything, which is pretty insane, but there's an option you need to make sure you turn on. It's under transcription and it's automatically transcribe clips. So make sure you take that. So it just automatically transcribes everything in the background. So I've got everything here. So instead of going through my timeline, which I'd usually do and like double speed and edit, I could just um, edit the text. And the cool thing is when you highlight the text, it kind of creates in and out points and then you can just delete that and it also updates the timeline and the time code which is uh great because in the previous version of premiere if you did your subtitles and you need to shift stuff around the transcription would not follow the timeline and then it just messes everything up so this is a great update so let's go back we'll just edit the text and if you wanted to see all the pauses you could just toggle this down here and then you'll see the pauses right here where the three dots are and each pause if you hover over it it'll tell you how long the pause is so in theory i could just select the pause and delete it yeah so you can pretty much select the pauses and delete them and just tighten everything up so you pretty much highlight and delete stuff that you don't want there so i'm just going to go through this really quick one thing i think that would be cool would be if when you repeat yourself and kind of restart the phrase, if we could highlight those points so it could find like the common like phrases or restart points and you can highlight those so you can pinpoint exactly what you need to delete. And then after you've done most of the content editing, then you can go back and just tighten stuff up using your video editing skills and all the shortcuts you've spent so much time learning.